coming up. But I needed to like kind of work on what was going on at the core. So that's what we'll be talking about today is like using EFT to kind of like tap into the nervous system. We'll talk about energy meridians. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys all the things now. Okay, so when you do EFT tapping, you're just tapping along your energy meridians. So if you've ever had acupuncture, they put the needles in random places in your body, but they're not actually random. They're following your energy channels in your body. Um, so your meridians, you could think of like the wiring of your body, the electrical system of the body. Um so it's kind of like an energetic highway. And even though it sounds really like woo woo to talk about energy, like literally everything has energy. You could like shock someone if you walked on the carpet wearing socks. You know what I mean? Like everything oh, has yeah. energy. Even um even people's like their energetic field around their body can be measured now. Um People have, what is it, electromagnetic fields around their body. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have a special offer for our Munch Bunch listeners. To book a virtual consult with Megan, she's offering a discount of $25 off. Just email her, Megan, at nwmyofunctionaltherapy.com or through her website, www orofacial-myology.com to book a virtual consult with Kimmy for the $25 off email her mouth muscle memory at outlook.com or through the website www.mouthmusclememory.com now on to the episode hello and welcome to the munch bunch podcast I am your co-host, Megan Vanoy, with my favorite co-host, Kimmy Nishimoto. And today, uh, we are going to talk about um, EFT tapping and um, what's the name of the other one, Kimmy? TFT. TFT. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you guys know, as you've kind of been awesome listeners throughout, we are always looking at um, different ways to help our patients beyond just, you know, the core myofunctional goals. We want to help our patients holistically, uh, which is why we bring on so many other guests. And, uh, you know, we've really kind of expanded the podcast to some of the more um, holistic and alternative approaches, um, modalities to taking care of ourselves. And we think it's really important not for us just to take care of ourselves, but for our patients. Mm -hmm. And so Kimmy has been kind of diving into this world and going to give us a little background, a little information about it, um, some tapping techniques that you guys can try at home. And uh, I'm really excited to talk more about it. Mm -hmm. So Kimmy, what made you get into learning about the EFT stuff? So... EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and then TFT stands for Thought Field. <clears throat> so yeah. there's all sorts of different ways you can do it. But basically, why I was interested in this is this year, my goal was to learn how to regulate my nervous system because um, I, as everybody knows, I'm an anxious little bunny, but I've <laughs> also started to feel like a little bit, um, overwhelmed lately, um, in the last couple of years and just kind of feeling a little burned out as well. So I wanted to learn how to work on regulating the nervous system, uh, for me and then also for my clients as well. So, um, the big thing that made me want to do that was I had a pseudo seizure in 2020 where I like left my body. I was just screaming uncontrollably. I was crying. I thought I was dying. And then come to find so out scary. it was just like a pseudo seizure. It's not actually a seizure. It's just your brain goes haywire. It's like a panic attack that goes awry. So that 
was kind of like a wake up call that I needed to like not keep doing what I was doing, which was not bad, like medicine, all that stuff. But I needed to like kind of work on what was going on at the core. So that's what we'll be talking about today is like using EFT to kind of like tap into the nervous system. We'll talk about energy meridians. There is always a lot of stigma around mental health, you guys, and uh, we are not here for it. So, (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Kimmy's always really open about her stuff. Um, I really, really struggled with postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, Some of it was some of the like other situations I was with in and, um, you know, I was working myself to death and trying to be a mom and do it all. And I really, really struggled. Um, And we can talk about that in a different episode. Um, but we're very open about our struggles, our mental health issues, um, the things that we've been through. And so, um, if you guys ever need to reach out or have questions, um, this is always a safe space for that. So, um, with that in mind, um, and that like openness from us, we invite Mm -hmm. you guys to also be open with us and, uh, we'll set the, set that intention for this episode. But first... Our affirmator cards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Kimmy, pull a card. Okay. Tell me when. When. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's flexibility. And then there's a girl with her like <laughs> feet behind her head. Yes. And it doesn't say namaste, baby, on the card on her feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am easygoing and always ready to follow the flow. When plans change, as they often do, when blank relative is around, I'll hop on board right away. When someone asks something of me, which is often the case when blank you-know-who relative visits, I'll do it without complaint. And later in the quiet of my meditation corner, I'll silently call them a beep. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) I love the affirmators. They make me so happy. (laughs) They're so sassy. They are very sassy. All right. So I'm going to teach you guys all the things now. Okay. So when you do EFT tapping, you're just tapping along your energy meridian. So if you've ever had acupuncture, they put the needles in random places in your body, but they're not actually random. They're following your energy channels in your body. Um, So your meridians, you could think of like the wiring of your body, the electrical system of the body. Um, So it's kind of like an energetic highway. And even though it sounds really like, woo woo to talk about energy, like literally everything has energy. You could like shock someone if you walked on the carpet wearing socks you know what I mean like everything oh, has yeah. energy even um even people's like their energetic field around their body can be measured now um people have what is it electromagnetic fields around their body mm-hmm. yep <clears throat> so anyway that's kind of like the gist of like why we would do EFT. Um, it's really, really flexible. You can use it for pretty much any issue. Um, I personally use it for anxiety or for panic attacks, or for example, um, working at the dental office last week, we had a patient who had like three teeth pulled. And when he sat up, he turned Mm -hmm. white as a ghost and he was like, I'm going to throw up, I'm going to throw up. And so we laid him down, took his blood pressure. It wasn't anything with his body he was like having a moment almost like a panic thing so we laid him down and I guided him through the tapping several times like and I'll I'll show you guys an example at the end um but as we did it and he started to breathe and kind of like ground himself back in his body um the color came back his nausea went away and he was able to go home and he was fine so I think it's really 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 cool yeah, I love that. I because like especially like if you put on your dentistry lens, right? And so many people, especially in the dental chair, tend to have a lot of anxiety to have a tool like that in your pocket. Um, you know, 
for those patients, I think is really, really powerful as well, because, you know, had you not known those techniques, you know, what do, what do we usually do? You know, it's been a hot minute since I've been in the dental uh, chair, but, um, you know, give oxygen or just tell them to breathe or, you know, mm-hmm. like not a lot of other tools when somebody's experiencing that. Or they throw up in your sink. Yeah. That's happened to me too. <laughs> Yeah, or just straight up vomit. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, before I was trained in EFT, I had just learned about it and I hadn't yeah. gotten my certification yet. But I did have a lady who had a panic attack during x rays and she was like throwing up in my sink. Like she was losing it. She was shaking. Like her whole body was shaking and she got really cold. And so I put her in the chair and I, like helped her with tapping just like the little bit that I knew at that point and then after a while when she calmed down she goes thank you for doing that my last two panic attacks I've ended up in the ER wow yeah so something to it you're it's like you get to like talk to your nervous system and be like it's okay you're safe you're safe um so Basically, you're just tapping different points around your body. There's more tapping points, but we'll just kind of stick with the basics. Um, So there is the karate chop, which is like on the blade of your hand, just kind of like in the middle. And you Mm. can either like use like two fingers, like your pointer and your and your um, your birdie. And you just kind of like tap like you would tap on a desk or sometimes I'll do like both karate chops and do both of them at the same time. So if you want to try that, Megan, mm-hmm. so you could do that or you could do two fingers on the side of your hand, the flat of your hand mm-hmm. and then just tap, 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 tap. So that one's called the karate chop. Um, that I one is it's called the karate chop, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> karate chopping away my anxiety yes um and this one is associated with the small intestine meridian oh, okay. and the benefits would be releasing stuck feeling and ease and moving forward letting go healing from grief being happy in the present moment um so that's the karate chop on the side of the hand Then we have our inner eyebrow, or as I teach it to kids, the hairy eyebrow. So it's, you use two fingers, your pointer and your birdie, and you can tap either with one hand or two, but just the inner part of your eyebrow or your hairy eyebrow as we teach the kids. And you just tap there. There's actually like, um, I think there's like a blood vessel right there. And Mm. so then anytime there's a blood vessel, there's a nerve, so... There's Mm -hmm. one that comes right around your eyebrows. There's an acupressure point right there for headaches too. Yeah. I was saying there's Mm -hmm. acupressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the meridians correspond to acupressure points. And I don't think that that is a coincidence. No, it makes totally sense. Mm -hmm. So that one is associated with the bladder meridian. And the benefits would be releasing trauma, hurt, sadness, promotes peace and emotional healing. All right. So that's the inner eyebrow or your hairy eyebrows. And then um, on the outside of your eye, it's not in the temple. It's like that bony ridge off to the side of your eye. So you could tap that. So not the temple in front of the temple on that bony ridge. Temples, Temples here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this one is the the outer eye or the kids i call it with the eagle eye yep um this one's associated with the gallbladder meridian and it's for releasing anger promoting clarity and compassion mm-hmm. then we have the under eye so there's like a little ridge if you like follow your eye hollow there's mm-hmm. a very subtle dip. Mm-hmm. And actually, there's another fissure right there. In anatomy and physiology, we have a little fissure yep. there. So that's that's your spot. And it's just a little tiny bit tender. Yep. I was just going to mm-hmm. say, mine feels kind of tender. 
Yeah. And also if you're tender here, you may like have a little bit of sinus pressure. So make sure you do your nasal hygiene. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. And I am, I don't, you know, the timing of this episode, um, I am recovering from the flu. Isabella yeah. and I both had the flu over Thanksgiving, the full on flu. She had a 105 degree fever. I had 104.3. We were Ouchie. not in good shape. And so a lot of that moved into the sinuses too. I'm even still a little bit sinusy. So that would make sense. Yeah. Tender. We did so much nasal rinsing and she, my, my 22 month old loves nasal rinsing. So just so all you guys know out there, Isabel nasal rinse is like <laughs> a superstar. So <laughs> yeah, no excuses. <laughs> so this one um, with the kids, I call it the lion tear point because oh, even mm-hmm. strong lions cry sometimes. I love that. So you tap in the little hollow under your eye. There's that little tiny fissure. So you just do soft little tappings there. Mm-hmm. associated with the, the stomach meridian and the benefits are releasing fear and anxiety promoting feelings of contentment calm and safety then we also have the under the nose point so it's the little like kind of that little hollow under your nose um this one with the kids i call it the dragon fire so mm. you're because you Tap under your nose and then you breathe out the bad feelings onto your fingers. Like a dragon. Love that. So that one is um, associated with the governing vessel meridian. The benefits are releasing shame and powerlessness, promoting self-acceptance and empowerment, compassion for self and others. And then we have the under the mouth. And there's a little, it's like the crease right above the bumpy part of your chin. So like Mm -hmm. right right there in that little hollow. And this one with kids, I call it the wolf howling away. So, oh, Oh, yeah. It's like that spot where you kind of wrinkle your chin. Uh -uh. So this one is associated with the central meridian. Uh, The benefits are releasing confusion and uncertainty. Promoting clarity, certainty, confidence, and self acceptance. And then we have the collarbone. So it's, if you find your collarbone, it's that little that spot where your necklace hangs and then like off to the side. So not on top of the collarbone, but like right underneath it. Mm-hmm. And you can always find your tapping point because it's just a teensy bit tender. Yep. Mm hmm. So this one is the collarbone point or with the kids, you could call it the, the gorilla point. So girl thumps its chest. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this one's associated with the kidney meridian. The benefits would be releasing feelings of being stuck, promoting ease of moving forward, boosting confidence and clarity. So that's the collarbone. And then we have the underarm point. So Megan, if you give yourself a little hug, uh huh, and then tap underneath your armpit. Hmm. It's like it's right where... tender, kind of tender there too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every spot so far has been a little tender on me. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to do more tapping. <laughs> Apparently, you're just like right on it. <laughs> Um, so this one is called the underarm spot or with kids it's called the bear hug. So give yourself a little bear oh, hug. I love love the bear hug. Yeah. It's associated with the meridian, uh, the spleen meridian. And then the benefits are releasing guilt, worry, obsessing, promotes clarity, confidence, relaxation, and compassion for others. And then we have the top of the head. So if you think of anatomy or if you think of like a Halloween skull, there's the top of the head where you have that little zigzag line. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like the middle of the head, not all the way back here where it's kind of flat, where your soft spot used to be more uh-huh. just like right in the center. And you just kind of like tap right there. Um, with kids, I call this the monkey point, like a monkey going, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah. 
Um, it's associated with many meridians, but also the crown chakra, which is like your yeah. quote, higher self. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, this one, the benefits are the crown chakra and promoting a spiritual connection. So with EFT, there's a lot of flexibility. It's basically just like, how do you ground inside your body? How do you connect with your body? So if you guys ever listen to the mindfulness uh, podcast we did with Sav, where she did mm -hmm. the guided meditation and the chakras, um, the big takeaway is if you can kind of go inside of your body and connect to your body, one, it helps you to feel more comfortable. You feel safer in your body. You feel at home in your body. And then it also helps you to like connect. And you can also like heal if you, because you're loving your body, you're giving it self-care versus I think a lot of times we get frustrated with our bodies and we just mm -hmm. like see all the bad stuff, all the annoying parts. We don't always like love our body. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We want to introduce this spot for Tots course, a parent's guide for toddlers ages two to five for Mini Mayo. We have Megan and Kimmy going over nasal hygiene, myofunctional exercises, breathing exercises, tongue tie healing protocols, and then we have Jenny June going over sleep hygiene and Kelsey Baker going over feeding therapy and body work. Uh, the course is $2.97 and the link will be in the description. And maybe this is as a woman or I don't know, but I definitely feel I have been conditioned since I was like, I don't know what, seven, eight years old to like not love my body. Uh -huh. um, you know, I always was a, you know, taller kid. As I got into like puberty, I was always a bigger kid. Um, you know, I had to bra wear a bra earlier than most of my, <laughs> most of my friends and that kind of continued on. And, um, you know, I never feel like I really truly appreciated my body. And some of that changed when I got pregnant and like, um, you know, like my body created a whole human who is mm -hmm. awesome and amazing and who I love. Mm -hmm. Um, but my body also really struggled after mm -hmm. having said tiny human who's amazing. Um, <laughs> And my body, you know, I really had a lot of sciatic issues. I, um, and I really started working with an awesome, awesome myofascial release uh, therapist to really help me through um, a lot of my pelvic floor and um, sciatica stuff. And um, she's been incredible to work with, but she's like the third person I've worked with. I had to find like so many people to finally help um with that pain. So mm -hmm. I like, I feel like that's my goal in 2023 is relearning how to, I guess maybe probably learning for the first time for me, mm -hmm. um, how to, how to love and appreciate my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really easy to just like hate on your body, but like your body is literally your house. Mm -hmm. It's your ultimate home. And I feel the worst for people that have autoimmune diseases, I feel like that's really tough. Like sometimes I wish that you could have like a body transplant. That's not like a creepy sci-fi movie version of it. Like <laughs> you could just be transplanted into another body. Right. But that's not reality. That's not possible at this time. Maybe Elon Musk will come up with something. Um, <laughs> so I think it's important to like one, learn to connect to your body and then by connecting to your body, I think you also kind of connect to your spirit in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get all spiritual with it. But I, that's what I believe. Like, when you can kind of be mindful, be present, be grateful for your body, there's more benefits than just like, oh, I feel pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, I think that's where, especially into adulthood, where people really get run down and burnt out and... Um, you know, and that happens to the best of us and we just run our bodies into the ground and then, you know, and I'm guilt, I'm like number one guilty party of that. And then our bodies say, no, thank you. And they break down. Right. And then we get a static mm -hmm. flare or we get the flu for Thanksgiving or, you know, whatever it is, you know, our bodies 
at some point, if we're not like in tune or taking care of them to like the fullest extent, um, you know, at some point they kind of revolt. And we see that with our jaw pain patients. We see that with our sleep patients. We see that um, so often, you know, we're not meant to live in pain. Like that's not the goal in life is for something to always be hurting, right? Mm -hmm. You see all those memes on the internet and everything around talking about like, oh, you now that you're 30, congratulations, like here's daily back pain, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And like, yes, like we're not as flexible as we used to be, but like we're not meant to live in pain. Um, And I think it's so important to figure out what that is for you and your body and um, unwind that and really just learn to love it and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So do you want to maybe... Uh, let me show you this cute book I have actually. I think yeah, let's look at it. Kimmy's got the cutest like so EFT cute. tapping book. I love it. So this is the cutest book. It's um by the tapping solution. They have um I think you can like read no. this to kids online. There's a, a YouTube of the whole thing. Um, but it's called Gorilla Thumbs and Bear Hugs, a tapping solution children's story by Alex Ortner has really cute pictures, um, but I'll show you the points in the book because I think it kind of helps. So the premise of the story is there's a little girl who's getting teased at school and uh, she was like crying in in the playground and a little boy says, I know this magical tapping technique that makes you feel better. Do you want to try it? And so she tries it and he teaches her the secret recipe, which is you know, you say your magic phrase of whatever's bothering you and you tap your points until you start to feel better. So this is the karate chop point. Cute. There's a little kid with the karate and he's breaking a board. This is the hairy eyebrow. <laughs> Cute. Mm-hmm. Those are some serious eyebrows. <laughs> The eagle eye, which is the side of the eye. That's really, really good. Like the illustration's really nice. I know, they're cute. The lion cry point, because even strong lions cry sometimes. And then this one is the dragon fire, which is under the nose. So you breathe away your bad feelings. This is the wolf, which is the chin point. Ow! And then we have our gorilla thumps, which would be the collarbone point. The bear hugs, which is the underarm. Love it. And then the monkey point or the top of the head. So that's the... That's the little book there. It's really, really cute. I got it for my nephew. Um, He's having a little bit of an adjustment period, adjusting to the new twins. And uh, I figured it might help him because uh, he's he's a little frustrated with the twins and he associates them with hitting, <laughs> mm-hmm. which is yeah. n- not the best. So I figured we could try that. So when I talked to him on the phone, he goes, Tia, lion, Tia, yeah. dragon. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Izzy definitely has taken some swings at her uh, new nephew and her friends who are a little bit younger than her. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just taught her that we don't touch babies. We try we try not to touch babies' faces. We just tickle their feet instead. That's what we use. We tickle. We use our <laughs> hands to tickle their feet. So we... Uh, she's getting better and now that she's a little closer to two now she just she likes to give maverick kisses which is really sweet Mm -hmm. um but yeah i would be lying if i said my child hasn't swiped out uh other babies uh yeah because she's the oldest in our little baby friend group and so oh yeah oh yeah she stresses me out At least, she, at least she I know. hasn't dented anyone's head yet. So that's not good. as far as we know anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think that's so great. And I think, you know, 
any tool we can have in our toolbox to help us like Mm -hmm. find that space, find that piece, whether it's breathing exercises, whether it's tapping, whether it's meditation, um, you know, there's so many tools out there that I don't think are always kind of brought into play or talked about. Um, it's, I'm, I love that, you know, we continue to find different tools and have them in our, mm-hmm. our tool belts. Cause that's really what it's for, right? Like mm-hmm. not everything is for every single person, but if we can find, you know, if we can find all the different options and see what works for you, that's, you know, mm-hmm. that's the best part. So yeah. Do you want to do a practice one? I could run through one with you. Let's do it. Pick something that's bugging you right now. What is bugging me right now? Or that bugged you today that is like kind of fresh. I like it for kind of emotional stuff, like when you're needing to feel some feels that you don't want to feel. Um, I think it's helpful for like processing kind of like that emotional piece. Um, Yeah. So if somebody, you know, is interested in learning more about the tapping, um, Kimmy, do you offer tapping sessions for people? Yeah, I could do that and just give you the like run through. We could talk about, you know, a certain issue that you're having a hard time with and then give you the tool that you could do that on your own. Mm -hmm. And then other really good resources. um, There's the tapping solution app. Mm. It's an app It's pretty good. I really like their stuff. There's really flexible. There's a lot you can do with it. Like you pick whatever your problem is, how you feel about it, but you end with, but I love and accept myself, you know? So Mm. it could be, even though I feel, frustrated I love and accept myself even though I feel really bad about myself and I don't like this specific thing I love and accept myself and you say that out loud or in your head until it starts to become true Mm -hmm. and I think that that's like part of um what makes it special is like it's not just like a quick little affirmation like oh um like, you know, today I am going to be nice to myself or I appreciate myself, but you actually do it over and over and over until you're like, kind of, okay, yes, I love myself. Okay. So it's, I, I do. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Oh, I feel better already just from our little brief, our little brief tapping sesh. So, um we didn't even get into all of it so just even imagine (laughs) we didn't even go all in but we you know we can at a later date um for sure um but yeah I mean if you guys are interested and want to learn more um reach out to Kimmy uh I think this is an it's an awesome again just kind of an awesome modality to really look at and reach into so um as always, you guys can find us at the Munch Bunch Mayo podcast on all social media and all of the platforms. You can find me at NWMFT, Kimmy at Mouth Muscle Memory. Uh, we're also open to topics for this coming 2023. We, you know, again, we, as much as we love hanging out, we're also here for you guys. And so send us DMs, reach out, let us know what you guys want to learn more about. Um, if you're somebody who's an expert at something and wants to come on the podcast, we'd be happy to host mm-hmm. you. You know, um, we know there's so many people out there with so many skills and talents and um, we want to highlight you. We want to highlight what you do in your business and, you know, we'd be happy to have you. So mm-hmm. reach out to us. Don't be shy. Um, you know, we're all about connecting and collaborating. So perfect. All right, you all guys, right. Well, we will catch you guys on the next uh munchy monday episode of uh the munch bunch podcast and we hope that you guys have a great week bye bye